An old man was fishing by the river, his faithful dog was also lying next to him. It was very peaceful until there were three teenagers carrying guns, came from behind and wanted to rob him. The old man was still very calm. I have no money. But suddenly the young man who was holding the gun shoot at the dog. Satisfied to see the dog suffered. Next time don't forget to bring the money, he said. After that, he laughed wildly and left. The old man was Ludlow, and every day he had only two hobbies, fishing and walking the dog. He was so shocked seeing his dog get shot. Dumbfounded for a moment, Ludlow hurried to bring his dog to the hospital, but because the bullet hit its head, it couldn't make it. Ludlow quietly buried the dog. The friend who has been beside him for years was suddenly gone, he would surely have to find justice for his dog. The gun that the young man used was the Browning, Ludlow had been looking everywhere following this clue. He went to ask a gun dealer up in his town about the blonde boy who bought the Browning. Very soon, he got the news, the shop owner usually would not disclose the customer's information, but when he heard the story, the shop owner changed his mind. He also raised a dog, once he went hunting and was injured in the middle of the forest, the dog was always by his side and found someone to come to save them. That's the reason why he was still alive. The boss knows that for a lot of people a dog is not just an animal. Ludlow found out who bought the gun, his name was Johnny, he came with his father to get that gun. Looking at their clothes, they must be rich. Very quickly Ludlow reached out to Mark, Johnny's father, but he did not believe that his son would rob others. But Ludlow has enough evidence, he clearly remembered each and every one of them. Mark laughed and frankly asked, how much money do you want? Ludlow said no, this is not about money, I want to get justice for my dog. Also reminded Mark to teach his son well. Mark lost patience, I don't need you to tell me what to do. Then he called Johnny to confront him, who would have thought that he was very calm, said he did not know Ludlow, and never killed the dog. You heard that? Mark wanted Ludlow to leave right away. Now that Ludlow understood what was going on, Mark was covering for his son. At that moment, he suddenly turned his head to ask the boy who stood next to Johnny. You are Harold Wright, I heard them mention your name, at least you felt guilty because you still have a conscience, if you can tell the truth, how good it would be. Harold was scared but still tried to defend himself. Now, it is impossible to settle this, Ludlow came to his friend who was a lawyer. Since there is no evidence of the robbery and animals are only considered as possessions, so if he prosecutes, the perpetrator will only be locked up for 10 days and fined $100. Ludlow could not believe that the sentence would be that easy, this was killing, not mistreating the animal anymore, but with current law, it was only possible to handle the case like that. The lawyer actually couldn't understand why he wanted to do it, just because of a dog. For Ludlow, his dog was like a family member, and it is also the only thing his wife left him. He still wanted to prosecute, so he persisted to find the last one, Peter. His family background is very normal, Johnny also informed him in advance so he didn't even show up. His mother firmly said her child was not there. Keep talking for a while, his mother said that his son did not take the shot, he was innocent. But actually participating in a crime was also guilty. Ludlow returned home with disappointment, at this time the lawyer found him to inform him that the prosecution had been returned, the reason was that there was no specific evidence, but in fact, Mark had bribed a lot of people. Everything fell into a stalemate, the lawyer suddenly thought of another way. They can find a journalist to write out this story, perhaps under public pressure, this situation would turn around. Unexpectedly, Ludlow was intimidated again, his window was smashed and he even got threatening letters. He thought Johnny definitely did it. After that, bad things happened consecutively, the lawyer was also threatened and forced to leave, the journalist was also warned by her boss to stop the article, it was Mark for sure. Ludlow's path to find justice seemed to have been stopped, friends advised him to stop, but he was determined to do it. Actually, the reason he insisted on doing this was not just because of the dog. He has two children, his family was very happy, but his oldest son ran away from home. Once he returned to ask for money, Ludlow's wife refused, he then beat his own mother and angrily burned the house. As a result, his young son died on the spot, his wife only lived a few days longer. For now, Ludlow can only think of a different way, and he stalks on the three young guys. They still live happily as usual. Once Ludlow blocked the three of them, this time he turned to provoke Johnny. As expected, he got angry, aggressively picked up the baseball bat, intending to hit Ludlow. But unfortunately, Ludlow was once a soldier, the boy Johnny could not stand a chance. He got beaten up within just a few hits. Many people saw this, Ludlow's act was just self-defense. He warned Johnny if no one taught him to be a person, he will. Unexpectedly the next day, Ludlow's store was burned, it was them again. But the police again said that there was no evidence, and they cannot prosecute this incident. Last night was Harold's birthday, he and Johnny had evidence of not being at the scene, a lot of witnesses saw them at their house. But what about Peter? Ludlow went to his house, this time his father insisted that Peter was not at home. Ludlow looked at the builders outside, knowing that they also had been bribed themselves. 
Gone through all of that, Ludlow was furious, he sat in the car trembling because of anger. He just wants to find justice, why is it so difficult for them just to apologize? Ludlow has not given up yet. The next day he took the body of the dog to Johnny's house, it was rotting and gave off a very awful smell. Ludlow did not care anymore, the best evidence was there, how would they want to deny it? It was at this moment that Johnny and his family came out, they even carried guns. Johnny agitated to take a gun and threatened Ludlow, but his gun was taken immediately. Mark was angry, let go of my son. He took a gun and shot Ludlow's ear. But he did not care about the wound, used Johnny to intimidate Mark. Ludlow wants to bring Johnny to town to confess to his crime. Johnny in the car was scared and apologized, but wasn't it too late then? At that time, Mark drove forward, regardless of the sun sitting inside, he suddenly crashed into Ludlow's car. Mark's family thought that Ludlow was dead and hide the dog's body. Who would have thought that he was still alive, and came back to find the dog's body? At this time, Mark decided to kill the old man at any cost, shot at him directly. Ludlow also fought back. After a while, everyone was hurt, Ludlow was seriously injured but still survived, and not everyone was so lucky. A few months later, Ludlow has been fully recovered. The journalist brought him a cute little puppy. At first, he didn't want to accept it because he was too old, but when he saw the dog clinging to him, he couldn't help but smile happily. This is a profound story was about a man's journey to revenge and find justice for his dog. For some people, the dogs that they raised are no different from family members. If you have dogs, please treat them well.